family says one of the passengers in this trash truck was working his first day on the job. I think he's in shock right now. The sister asked that we not use her name. She says her brother was burned on his back, neck and face. She says he's the least injured of the three workers. His skin is off his nose, ears, the top of his forehead. His teeth is chipped. He's pretty bruised up. His eyes are swollen. His face is swollen, period. She says her brother was a passenger in the truck and was on his phone when they hit the barrier. The phone flew out of his hands. He seen his phone blow up. And when he seen his phone blow up, he knew to get out of the situation, to get up out of there. She says he tried to help his coworkers climb out of the truck, but the fire had started. The other guy seemed dazed, so he said he was just like, come on, we got to get out. We got to get out, you know, coaching the other guy to get out. And he said once he kicked it open to get out, he just started immediately taking off to run to go get help. With no cell phone, her brother ran to the Flying J gas station nearby. That's when an officer arrived and pulled another worker out. He later died. Another city employee did not escape. I'm absolutely devastated. I'm absolutely devastated. I know these guys and their families are on this truck. Commercial drivers on the scene think the truck driver may have been going too fast. There's no way he should have been taking that exit right there at that speed. In Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News.